Hey, what's up everyone? It's your girl Barbie with Statue Mania and today we're going to drop the review on the Prime 1 one third scale Superman, the black suit version. So stay tuned. So, I got this in a couple of days ago and as soon as I unboxed it, just looking at the base, I was super impressed. This thing is huge. So I'm going to give you guys a few specs just so you guys keep in mind if you decide to get this, you know more or less what you're getting into. So he's about 42 inches tall, 28 inches wide, and 15 deep. Uh, he also weighs almost 70 pounds. So keep those uh, specs in mind in case you guys decide to pick this one up. Uh, just to give you guys a little bit of a backstory on the black suit, uh, basically Doomsday kills Superman and he's revived in the Fortress of Solitude. And uh, he's given this regeneration suit uh, because his powers are weak and he's not juicing up as fast as he would normally. He's giving this suit to absorb those solar, uh, solar rays faster. So we're going to get started at the base. And as you can see, he's floating on a stone-like pillar. Now... I, I know this is the base for the Superman hush as well, but since I own the black suit, I'm going to interpret him, uh, interpret the base uh, this way. To me, this is kind of like maybe his grave site, his memorial site. Um, the reason I say that is because you have the angels and then you also have the Superman symbol here in the back. And then you have this pillar where you see a bunch of vines, just uh, dead vines actually, just crawled up against this pillar and you have a lot of dead leaves also laying on this area of the pillar. But very nice details. They did an amazing job mimicking the stone. You have uh, these details right here as well. Nice contrast with the paint there. Did a fantastic job with the angels and the wings. And overall, it's a very nice space. Now, one of the cool things about this is that you can either display him with the angels forward or you can display him with the Superman symbol forward. And then all you have to do is simply rotate the pillar. So I'll show you guys pictures and close-ups of all these details so you guys uh, have a better view of all the details I'm talking about here. So I'm just going to rotate them here with the angel so I don't knock them over. Now, as we move on to the sculpt, his boots got a very nice leather texture on it, as well as the belt and the underwear. And then the rest of the suit is kind of like a fabric, uh, fabric texture. So you have uh, this beautiful silver accent uh, belt and also silver accent on the chest symbol as well. They did a fantastic job on the anatomy of the skull. Beautiful details on the muscles. He's not overly uh, muscled or overly big. Very nice details on the hands here. Uh, very subtle on the veins. And overall, it's a very nice uh, statue. There's not much to the paint because again, he's all black, but the contrast of the two textures between the belt, I mean, between the boots and the, um, the uh, fabric-like uh, suit, you can distinguish the differences there. Now, he comes with three portraits. This portrait is the short hair bearded portrait. This is actually my favorite portrait. It's got a very powerful presence, um, very serious look, but overall, it's my favorite portrait. So again, I'll show you guys close-ups of all the portraits. So this is the second portrait. It is the long hair bearded portrait. And again, very powerful pose, very powerful look with that portrait as well. They did a fantastic job on these. And this is the third portrait. So 
He's got the long hair, but he does not have a beard in this one. Again, very fierce look. Very nice details on the portraits. They did a fantastic job on all three of them. I know some don't prefer that mullet look, um, but again, the portraits are very nicely done, so anyone that prefers any of the three portraits, they're all three beautiful. So here we have them back to uh, the portrait that I prefer. So yeah, I mean, very beautiful statue. Uh, I was very impressed with it. Um, I've actually seen the Hush Superman in person. Um, I've seen the sculpted cape one, and I've seen it uh, not as close up as this, but I have seen it at a distance of maybe like 10 feet away. And it's also very impressive, but this one actually impressed me more. Uh, I'm not sure what it is about this one, but uh, maybe it's the black suit, maybe it's that fierce look. It just gives them that fierce look altogether that uh, is very impressive. So again, if you guys do plan on picking this up, just keep in mind those specs that I gave you guys in the beginning of the video. And um, hope you guys like this review. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Hit like, hit subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.